everybody. Today we have a new center pin. It's the EVA Calibre 2. This is a four spoke that has a ported back. It's a black with bronze and what I'll call like a cognac colored handle. Um, let's see, it is made in Canada. Uh, I also have an Islander, it's also made in Canada. I don't know if it's a recurring thing, but I have two, I have two king pens which are made in England and I have two other reels that are made in Canada. Uh, let's see, this is of course black. They come in, I believe a green and then a gray. There is a three spoke, a four spoke, and then there's a solid back that comes with these as well. Uh, it weighs 10.9 ounces. Um, price is 650 US, is what I found online. And these are actually kind of hard to come by. I know a lot of times that when these things come up for sale, they, they're for sale, I mean, they sell right away and usually it's you know, asking price, which is, I guess, a good thing. And no one really hikes the price up on these things. They, they kind of hold their their value. So um, this is a five inch reel. It does have a clicker and the clicker system is built into this. And then you can actually adjust it if you want a little bit of play. If you're like pulling out your string, no play. And then to take it off, you push down, this pops out, which I don't want to do right now, but, um, so ABEX 7 bearings, uh, 5 and 7 are, they're the typical, um, and as I let go of it, it just tends to spin by itself, which is kind of nice. The spool itself is quite narrow, it's as, about as wide as my index finger. Uh, it's shallow too, so you don't have to put backing on it. Technically, they say you don't have to put backing on it, but I always do. Uh, the backing that I want to put on it is currently missing, although I'd show it. It's a uh, it's a blue, it's a nice color blue. I, I always put backing on all of my reels. And then for my main line, I haven't decided if I'm gonna go with Blood Run. I have yellow, I believe, fluorescent yellow, the day, day glow or visible yellow. I have blue on my one of my other pens, and I have purple on something else. Uh, I also really like uh, Suffix, and I use a Maxima uh, Moss Green. That's, that's my favorite line. I use 10 pound line, and I land kings on it <laughs> that are more than 10 pounds, of course, uh, with no problem whatsoever. Um, so it's hard coated and nice, and brass is uh, it's really nice it's, it's really nice kind it's not too sharp i know some guys have complained about these being sharp and then taking the skin off their knuckles <clears throat> excuse me um it's one of those things where i say it's it doesn't matter if this uh center pin spins forever it's good that it spins forever i don't want it to spin forever i want it to start spinning when my line goes out or when it's being pulled out and i think that's more important than anything the bearings on it are fine. Uh, EDA, that gentleman has great videos on his YouTube channel to take how to take down, to clean, how it's constructed. These are actually made to have the bearings swapped out anytime that you want to do them. They're not pressed in like some brands. Um, I know people that go to swap out their bearings and they screw up their pens. Um, Luckily, I haven't had to change out any of my bearings yet that were hard. Um, I probably won't be changing these out. <clears throat> so I just got this. It's uh, February 21st, 2020. I've had this for about two or three weeks, and I finally got around to um, just showing it her off. Uh, I'm very fortunate where I was able to get another center pin. Um, so the color on this is, it's great. I mean, it's flat, or matte black. Uh, however you like to put it. The foot itself is integrated into the center pin, so it's not like others where you have two giant screws sitting on it. I mean, even though there is a giant hole in there, there is no screw. 
Um, there's a seat, uh, serial number, model number two, so Calibre 2. Uh, company's name, once again, is EBA. Um, let's see. It's primarily set for smaller rivers and tributaries, um, which is what I fish mostly, smaller rivers. Um, looking at the pattern, it, I mean, it's machined very well. It's, I mean, these cuts are, I mean, they're not sloppy. There's no wiggles, which you shouldn't when they're CNC'd, but it's really nice. Uh, it, it reminds me of a, a car rim. Uh, it's just, you know, nicely done. It's thin. Uh, I'll, and I keep spinning it because I, I, it's, it's one of those things where when my, when I have overspin on my reel, I'll slowly put my thumb on it to slow it down, but it takes a while for this to slow down. I and mean, it's got some, not that it's heavy, but it has a good weight to it so that once it does spin and it, it will, I think it will, um, quickly unspool the line as, as it goes out. But it has some weight to it, and it keeps continuing, and it, it, it doesn't speed up. Um, it probably would if I had line and a float, and it's going down the river. That makes total sense. But it just keeps going at a gradual pace. So I don't have to worry about it overspilling and having to slow it down with my thumb, which, with oddly enough, with my ABEC 7 bearing reels, I have a problem with my ABEC 5 or 3s, whatever one I have in, on my uh, Islander. I don't have that problem, and I really like my Islander for that reason. Um, so from what I hear is people tell me that once I use this, the first thing I'm going to do is sell my Islander. Uh, these things, everyone just absolutely loves them, um, which is cool. I'm really excited to use it because uh, there's a steelhead run starting right now, and in about two months, uh, the trout opener for Michigan is the end of April. So I'm really looking forward to taking this out on a smaller stream. Uh, it's a creek that we have out here. Um, but it's uh, it's used primarily for four to seven, four to eight gram floats, excuse me. Um, you can use bigger floats. I use 15 gram float, floats or 11 gram floats, excuse me, exclusively only because I just like the size and I'm just used to it. So. I'm going to try to use an eight gram float, which I really don't know how I am going to feel about that, knowing that I always have a big giant float. That being said, once again, this is an uh, EBA Calibri 2. It's a five inch reel with the ported back, but I'm sorry, I said it was 10 ounces. It is 9.6 ounces with a ported back plate. Uh, it's hard coated, flat black, uh, the you have ported and you have solid back options. Um, hopefully, the next video I can post is me having a decent sized brown rainbow or steelhead attached to this thing. Thank you very much, and you guys have a great day. Tight lines.